The Last Cyclist is a play that was written and rehearsed in the concentration camp at Teretzin. Teretzin was in Czechoslovakia, not far from Prague, and it was known as a model ghetto, which means the Nazis used to bring the Red Cross in to show how well they were treating people, even though it was all a lie. Uh, they even made a film called The Fuhrer Gives the Jews a City, in which they filmed the happy inmates at the library and the cafe. Again, it was all a lie, and when they were finished filming, the, most of the people in the film were sent to Auschwitz. Even though uh, Teretzin was considered a model ghetto, it was still as bad as Warsaw or Vilna. There was disease and hunger and starvation. It was a way station on the way to Auschwitz. What a lot of people don't know is that there was a lot of culture going on in Teretzin. There were so many artists, actors, musicians that were in prison there. There was a very flourishing cultural life, which the Nazis allowed because it fell into their idea that this was a model. It was a way for the people there to stand the conditions they were in. And with the last cyclist, it was a way to satirize their life. As I said, the play was written and rehearsed, but it was never performed because the satire was so bitter that the Jewish council was afraid the Nazis would take reprisals. The Last Cyclist is about a mad dictator, a woman, who escapes from a lunatic asylum and along with the other lunatics decides to take over the world. The uh, dictator declares that the cause of all the troubles in the world are bicycle riders. And for that reason, anybody who rides a bicycle has to wear a big letter C. Uh, and it's not only bicycle riders, but anybody whose parents rode a bicycle, or grandparents, or anybody who's ever owned a bicycle. And as you can tell, this was a very bitter satire on how the Jews had been treated by the Nazis. In the end, uh, in the play, they, uh, the, the cyclists are able to overcome the dictator. Uh, that was not the case in real life. Of all the people involved in the production, only one survived. And the play was put together from the memoirs of that one person, as well as the memoirs of people who saw the rehearsals. The play was put together by Naomi Pates, who is a well-known writer. Uh, she's had many books published about Jewish literature, Jewish history. And through a lot of research, she was able to piece together the play as she believed it was actually done. And this is a great opportunity to find something that was used in what was called spiritual resistance to the Nazis, to bring it to the public and really bring it out of the ashes of the Holocaust uh, and bring it to the public. With any nonprofit theaters, um, the big issue of course is money and we need to raise money to do this show. We're hoping to raise at least $5,000 through this Kickstarter campaign. Uh, more would be nice. But um, any contribution you would care to make would go a long way towards helping us bring this very important play to the public. Thank you very much.